Hi, traders about to short KKR, shorting now, 4,000 shares. Stock is down almost 3%, looks good, nice reversal point. As you can see, I'm trading for my laptop today, so that's my one monitor setup. A bit tricky, it's a bit hard to trade that way. Now, as you can see, I'm using a hard stop here in KKR, and it's already down $840. If it's going to move up just a few more cents, I'm out. <laughs> that was my hard stop triggering in KKR. Sadly, when I use a laptop and I do not use all my four monitors, I just need to have a stop loss somewhere, and I use a hard stop. CBOE is down 6%, a little bit more. I like this downside momentum, almost without a pullback. I'm shorting now. Before the break... Before it broke down, I'm short for 2,000 shares. It's a very risky mover, but uh, it looks fine. CBU is looking fine. I'm up uh, $800. Well, not good. Not good. Oh, look at this. I'm down $1,500, $1,800, $2,000. Never ever move out when you see a spike like this. Never move out. I've been teaching my students for years now that whenever they see spike like that, they have to wait for a pullback. I'm down $2,700. I'm not moving out. I have to wait for a pullback. Now, sometimes it just won't pull back and you're going to have a huge loser. But in 99% of the time, it will come down. As you can see now, this small topping tail here already represents a pullback. So I just hope it's going to stop here and continue coming down. It hasn't done anything wrong. If you look at the chart, it still is downtrending. Quick shake up like that is not supposed to take you out. I hope it's going to come down. Right now, it's a loser. CBOE did survive and we are at a new low. And I'm about to take my partial now, taking it. That was a great trade. I'm up in CBOE. Uh, just made uh, $1,500 in CBOE and originally, as you could see a few minutes ago, it was a loser. I did survive the pullback, did survive the shakeout. MOH is down 6%. I'm about to short it at this reversal here. Short, 2,000 shares, it's a big mover. I'm already green for the day, so I would like to stay green. Looks fine. VSH down 10%. This stock doesn't have much of a choice. It should come down. I'm about to short it here at 19 or under 19. Now, moved under 19. 4,000 shares. Again, stock that is down 10%, it's only a matter of time where it's going to come down, so I hope I've got the right place. MOH is doing great. I'm about to cover. I'm up $1,200. I'm going to cover 1,700 shares now. Okay, fine trade in MOH, up $880. That turned out to be a nice trade too. Now I need VSH. FN is uh, at the highs. Nice breakout formation. I'm about to go long, 1,000 shares. Going long now. Very nice breakout in FN. Oh, this is nice. Let's hope for some more continuation here. Stock is already up 27%. VSH um, retested, as you can see. Now it came back down. I'm taking my partial here. Uh, VSH is just a very small winner, $300 winner, but... Uh, did come back down, so okay. FN is not doing well. I'm going to reduce my size. I have 1,000 shares. I'm going to reduce my size. It's a very small 10 cent loss here. Okay, reduced. Keeping just uh, 400 shares in FN. Look at CBO. This is just absolutely amazing. I'm short 200 shares and it's over. 11 points in the money. Small pullback right now, but the 200 shares are worth over $2,000. And just remember, I survived this pullback. And really, it's just amazing. Up $3,300 today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching my video. Do you have what it takes to become a trader? 
I would like to invite you to take my free trading challenge. If you succeed, I will fund you. You will get free access to a $14,000 trading account which you can trade from home and earn 70% of the profits you generate. No risk, no cost. Just click here and join now. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel here. If you have any questions, please use the comments below.